Hey what's up you guys, it's Nicholas Lion Rider, and in today's video I thought I would walk you through my process on how I basically remade or created the African Forest Elephant mod. So as a little background context, the African Forest Elephant mod was one of my very first mods. I made it a very very long time ago and since then I have, you know, obviously significantly improved my ability to create animals and the tools have improved. So, obviously, I wanted to update this to be a new species mod, of course, but while I was at it, I thought, you know what, I think I can probably improve it to be a bit more accurate to their real-life counterparts, and I love African forest elephants in real life, so I definitely wanted to do it justice. So, what I thought I would do is start basically where it all began, so I basically used the um, African uh, elephant male, which side note, Frontier uh, does not distinguish the difference between bush or uh, forest elephant, so they just say African elephant. But the one in the game is an African bush elephant, and what I'm gonna probably talk about for a little bit are the defining characteristics of a forest elephant. So the first thing that I should probably mention is what I'm working on right now which are the tusks. So the tusks are probably the most defining characteristic, in my opinion, about forest elephants. They're kind of a, like, off-yellowish golden color with, like, brownish-black along the uh, ridges of the mouth and stuff. And these tusks, on average, are a lot more thin and, like, straight compared to a savanna elephant. So they're very, very distinct from their, um, you know, savanna counterparts. Similarly, they actually have a lot of different facial differences that you um, wouldn't really notice at first unless you like do a big analysis like I did. And um, I tried to get that uh, as close as possible. So they have a bit more of a pronounced nose ridge um, compared to their trunk. And similarly, they have more sunken in eyes relative to their savanna counterparts. Um, Ear-wise, that is another thing. So ears on a forest elephant are more often than not a bit rounder and smaller than their uh, savanna counterparts. However, they are still the large African elephant ears that you would see relative to an Asian elephant. They're just a bit smaller. I think the other big thing that you wouldn't really notice by the way that I'm building it um, is African forest elephants are actually the smallest elephant relative to any species or subspecies. So a lot of people think like, oh, Bornean pygmy elephants are the smallest. No, it's, it's not actually true. African forest elephants are the smallest. The females get to be only about seven feet um, at the shoulder, and the males can get to about eight or nine feet at the shoulder, um, which makes them significantly smaller than the kind of uh, savanna males that can get about 14 feet at the shoulder, um, and females about 11 to 12 feet. So it's definitely a lot smaller than you would normally see in a savanna elephant. And another thing that I kind of noticed uh, as I went through is they actually have a bit more of a pronounced neck. So I actually noticed this, I think, when we get to the female especially. But um, right now we're kind of jumping over to the texturing process. So for texturing, I thought I would kind of be a little bit lazy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I used my original African forest elephant texture as a base. So I didn't use um, it entirely. I did make a custom texture, um, but it, it was a good foundation because I did like the colorization I chose for it, um, which was kind of this off brownish color because African forest elephants, while they are sometimes gray, they are on average a bit darker and more brown in color scheme uh, relative to the, um, the savannas. So what I did was I kind of muted the color a little bit to make it more of an off grayish tan and then I thought with the in-game color variation it will be a bit more brown if needed but I think it actually worked really well. So this was just me playing around with getting my color uh, you know, palette correct for uh, use in Substance Painter which we're hopping over to now. So, as you can see, this is the main uh, tool that I use often. If anyone's seen my other modding, you know, videos, you may have seen that I use this quite often. And I'm actually really happy with how I did the texture. So, as you can see, I basically had the fun fundamentals uh, already figured out by basically mixing the African male elephant texture that I modified and my original uh, African forest elephant texture, which was actually using the modified female. 
So what I found out very shortly into this was the African elephant, male and female, do technically have different texture maps, so they don't line up perfectly. So I did have to kind of uh, improvise a little bit, but for the most part, they worked out rather well. And the main thing that I wanted to highlight with the new texture was the areas on the African forest elephant that are a bit more dark or like muted in color uh, relative to the rest of the body. And that's specifically areas like the ears, the eyes, the underbelly, etc., which usually get a lot darker. I'm not quite sure why, but this does appear to be a pretty consistent thing along most African forest elephants. Uh, especially in males. Males are very, very much known for their kind of sunken in eyes and hunched over posture and stuff with those big, big straight tusks. Um, females are a bit more different and we'll jump over to the female um, in a little bit where they have a bit different of a layout um, uh, genetically from the, uh, the males. But for the most part, it's uh, very, very similar um texture wise so i didn't go through the texture process of the female or baby but um just it, all, all you need to know is that they're basically brown as well but here we go so hopping over to the female african forest elephant so i basically did the exact same thing that i did with the male so you know uh extended the snout moved the body a bit downward because they do have a bit more of a flat back relative to the kind of like really arched uh, back of the bush elephant and uh, made those eyes really sunken in by uh, kind of extending out the um, cheekbones and the tusk. Uh, I don't really know what you call them. <laughs> like I guess the tufts, tufts, like fleshy muscles. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> They're basically right next to the uh, trunk though. And on female forest elephants, their tusks, on average, are incredibly straight. They are literally just daggers, like a saber-toothed tiger, like, hanging down directly from the elephant's mouth. And so you can see that here, I'm basically just trying to make them as straight as humanly possible. Really thin, because, like I said, even though they're not really that brittle, they are very, very thin. And so they aim, like, straight down. And it's it's kind of cool. It it gives them a much more unique look from the um, the savanna elephants. And uh, when you see a whole herd of African forest elephants, I don't understand how people can think they're even remotely uh, similar to the other ones. So another fun fact about forest elephants is genetically they are actually closer to mastodons than they are to mammoths, unlike the African savanna elephants or Asian elephants. So genetic, genetics have shown that they are actually much closer to mastodons, um, which is cool, and it kind of makes a lot of sense when you think about how their tusks are different, their posture is a lot more short and stout. It actually makes a lot of sense that they are closer to mastodons. Um, and so you can kind of just see me doing that here. A thing that I did with the female that I, I went back and later did for the male it, that you might have just seen is I made the neck a bit thinner. So the African forest elephant, when its neck is upright, shows how thin their necks are relative. It's not a thing you would notice at first because of the ears, but they do have a much thinner neck. So now I guess we are on to the, uh, the obvious final thing, which is the baby African forest elephant. So, um, the big thing that I wanted to do here, other than, you know, obviously modify it to be the correct things, you know, the rounder ears, more stout body, etc. I wanted to try to also sort of turn this into a mini remaster of the ba baby elephant. Because as you can see, the baby African elephant is okay, but it's not the best. So, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make it a bit more realistic. For some reason, the game went really, really stylized with the uh, African elephant baby, and so I really wanted to try and make it a bit more realistic. Obviously, there's stuff like, if you see in the texture, it has a permanent smile, which I can't just fix. So that's a bit of a shame, but I did try my best. Uh, a thing that I noticed is, if you see what I'm doing, by modifying the shape of the face and the trunk, it actually did make it significantly more realistic. Similarly, I changed the body shape so that it had a like more pronounced like uh, spine and stuff, which is also very, very common in baby elephants. 
But with that being said, I mean, that's basically the African Forest Elephant mod in a nutshell. So this was made for my Safari pack, of course, that I'm sure many of you know about. And it is now available on Nexus for download for the single mod use. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to keep up the kind of like mod showcase spotlight type uh, creation of ser series. I know I haven't been doing it recently, but I definitely want to keep making more of these. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the African Forest Elephant mod.